In geometry, we learn about the construction of different types of geometrical figures, their properties and the relation between them. We can describe every geometrical figure by its shape, size and position. If we have two geometrical figures and one of them can superimpose the other, it implies that both figures are equal in shape and size and can cover each other completely. For example, two rectangles of the same length and breadth and two circles of equal radius. We use a symbol to indicate is congruent to. In this chapter, we will learn about congruent figures, congruence of triangles, congruent objects and congruence. Two objects are congruent if they have the same shape and size. The relation of two objects being congruent is called congruence. Congruent figures are carbon copies of each other, that is, Two plane figures are congruent if one figure completely superimposes the other. Symbol of congruence is and it is read as is congruent to. Some examples of congruent objects are same stamps, pair of earrings, biscuits in a plate, pair of blades, pair of coins, plates kept over one another, keys of same lock. Geometrical congruent figures Congruency of line segments If two line segments have the same length, they are congruent. If two line segments are congruent, they have the same length. These two statements can together be written as Line segments are congruent if and only if their lengths are same. Here AB is congruent to CD as AB is equal to CD equal to 10 cm. Here we have congruence of two angles. Two angles are said to be congruent if they have the same measure. If two angles have same measure, they are congruent. These two statements can together be written as angles are congruent if and only if the angles measure the same. Congruent geometrical figures. Two circles are congruent if their radii are of equal measure. Two rectangles of the same length and same breadth are congruent. Two squares are congruent if their sides are equal. Two triangles are congruent if they are equal in all respects. Congruency of two figures We can check the congruency of two figures by any one or combination of the following transformation. That is, translation, rotation, or reflection. Translation means moving without rotation. Here we see that F1 and F2 are congruent because if we translate F1 to F2, the two figures fit together perfectly. Figures A and B have different orientations. But if we rotate A by 90 degrees, then translating it to B, we find that both cover each other completely. Figures X and Y are congruent, as the figure Y is the image of figure X. Two figures are congruent if one figure lies exactly over the other after a combination of translations, rotations and reflections. The symbol is used to indicate congruent. Thus, F1 is congruent to F2. A is congruent to B. X is congruent to Y in the above figures.